Hi, I'm Stephanie Burnett. Um, I teach two classes. One of them is a plant identification class called Herbaceous Landscape Plants. And in that class, I take students out into the field and I teach them how to identify and use herbaceous perennials and, uh, and annuals. The other class that I teach is greenhouse management. And in that class, I teach students how to uh, operate a greenhouse and how to grow their own plants in a greenhouse. And I think it's a very exciting hands-on class because students get to do things like learn about the structures of greenhouses, biological control of pests, they get to learn about organic fertilizers, and they also get to tour several high-end greenhouses throughout the state and apply the concepts that they see there to growing their own plants back in the greenhouses that we have here on campus. So today we're putting in an experiment that uses a very unique irrigation system that can potentially save growers quite a bit of water, fertilizer, and money. And this irrigation system uses very small sensors, small enough to fit inside of a four inch pot. These sensors measure the amount of water that's in the soil. And when the water's below where you want it to be, a solenoid will open up and the plants will get watered with a very, very small amount of water. For the crop that we're growing today, which is called cucura, um, we actually are able to grow that crop using only about two liters of water over an eight week period of time. We don't fertigate at all, so there's no chance to add any supplemental nutrients at any point during the experiment except full of, through uh, foliar applications. This right. is, um, it's a quantum sensor. And we're going to be using handheld sensors to also get the difference in light interception from one canopy to the next. And we'll be able to see how much light the canopy is actually taking up over time and how that affects our model as well. So the models that we're developing will allow growers to make better irrigation decisions. Um, they don't have to invest in an expensive sensor automated system. They can use our model to go out into their greenhouse and check the climate and use the, use the environment that's existing in their greenhouse to make better decisions and save water and save fertilizer. That along with our existing and ongoing organic production um, research program will help growers in Maine have much more sustainable systems.